Hello everyone, today uh, I want to be talking about my wish list for Splatoon 3. Uh, Splatoon 2 is definitely getting close to the end of its lifetime as the announcement uh, that the Sheldon's Picks will be the last update. Now Nintendo will probably create a Splatoon 3 and I feel like there's some changes that uh, Splatoon 3 could have from Splatoon 2 to make it a lot better. and. These uh, things are in no particular order. So for number one, I think we should have Salmon run at really any time. I mean, it's I mean it's, it's just a game mode. It's part of the game. Why do we have to wait for certain times? And number two, uh, a change in the way lobbies work. You should be able to change up your gears and your gear and your weapon and up until any time the match starts. And you should also be able to change your inkling slash octolings, hairstyle, pants, etc. Maybe even gender slash type, whatever. Um, uh, if you were watching my stream, uh, that was on Saturday, I had a fun time with this in the Splatfest. You should also be able to uh, voice chat with friends if they're in the same lobby as you. Which, uh, next, uh, which segues into the next point, which is number three, voice chat. You should be able to turn on team voice chat. It should just be a thing. There should be more callouts with the directional pad that you could customize. That would be a lot easier to, like, enemy over here, enemy. It'd be a lot easier for callouts. I mean... Fortnite was able to make it so you could voice chat with your team and also parental controls could disable this and so that no one gets mad at anyone for not being on voice chat it would have a nice little icon and um number four Nintendo on Nintendo switch online now this should not be what we use for voice chat it should be built in fortnite was able to do it you just plug in a headset also uh the nintendo switch online app should show uh random your analytics like random stuff like how well we're using your specials what were your specials doing where were you using them how many kills were you getting per match where were these kills what were these kills on what, what range were these kills you know the random things Marie tells you after you beat hero mode. Sorry for the spoiler. Um, and also, servers, please. And number five, I think we should be able to customize our private battle more. Uh, just a bit more. And maybe customize music. And I, maybe you should just be able to do that everywhere. I think that should just be a thing because no one likes to listen to. Also, the private battle should show... Uh, you could change how much weapon, how much health you have. You could ban certain weapons, abilities, buff certain weapons, have more than two spectators, have certain things happen when there's a DC. Which uh, brings me into the next thing. With those more, with those customizable private battles, we could have teams. Remember that uh, whole thing Rocket League has called clubs. Uh, you'd be able to enter into league battle, league battles as a team and have like. A specific team power be able to easily find a good scrim and get a link to the Nintendo Switch online app with this have a team hall in game somewhere in the plaza where you'd be able to find all this stuff and maybe if we're lucky enough if this is like a very very far-fetched idea but if discord and Nintendo could become friends we could maybe have like you could link your Nintendo Switch uh, thing to Nintendo and you'd be able to DM other captains and stuff like that. Now all this again you could have tourneys. Remember the whole uh, uh, squid spawning grounds fiasco that happened because they were trying to use S uh, smash.gg? Having built-in tourneys would allow that to not happen. Not have the whole thing that happened in general that we're not going to talk about. Um, and it would allow the TOs to regulate the private battle options. Ha give each team a certain passcode to join their thing. 
also had a circuit option, a league option for things like Ludi and Sindal's uh, ladder. And uh, this is a small change, but very helpful for people that captain teams and stuff like that. But make it so that all times automatically get translated into your time zone. Now, for the outro, definitely some of the latter ones, like teams, more private battle options, and uh, the tourneys are a little much to ask for, but I feel like if we share this enough, Nintendo might see it and change it. Some honorable mentions are a difficulty setting for hero mode and a DLC if, ha if they have any, playable jellyfish, and, um, gear for all. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment if one of your, one, something you think should be added. And just remember, share. Because sharing is caring. Goodbye.